Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing great. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to download GAS vector datasets using QGAS with the combination of HCM GAS plugin. So first of all, we are going to install a plugin called as HCM GAS. So if you haven't installed it, you can simply install by going to the plugin options, select manage and install plugin. Make sure you have an active internet connection for downloading the plugins. So navigate to all. Here you just have to type in HCMGAS plugin. So this is the plugin which we are going to use. So I have already installed it. So you'll be finding an option for installing it. So click on install. Within a second it will be installed. Now let us close it. And you can automatically see the HCMGAS plugin at the top over here. So now select it and you can see the option download open data and uh, in the open data you can find OSM data by country from Geofabric so select this one so first of all we are going to select the region so I am going to choose North America so it is available continent wise so I am going to choose North America so for each con continent the data is available so inside North America, I'm going to choose United States of America and then followed by that, you can choose the state or province. So I'm going to choose Colorado. By clicking on this option, you can save this file to any location. It will be downloaded. Now we just have to do one thing. Click on apply. So before that, let me save it to a particular location. finally click apply and uh, yeah you can see it is uh, telling the estimate size so it is around 610.56 MB so let us download it and it will be taking a, it will be taking some time few minutes so click on S and let us wait for the download to be completed so you can see here the processing has been started so the download has been successfully completed let us wait for a minute to for the files to be extracted okay let us wait for a minute so it took me around uh, two to three for downloading this data so you can see here we are successfully done downloading this data now let me close it and bring this uh, google satellite to the bottom and you can see there are tons of uh, data which is available so let us see what and all data is are available so yeah so you can see here JS OSM buildings so these are the building data sets which are available so if you zoom in you can see the building data you can see the building data sets then uh, GAS OSM water free data so let us see the, you can find the lakes and reservoirs and uh, next is GAS OSM waterways so you can see the drainage networks main drainage networks that can be found for this region and if you come down you can see the uh, GAS OSM transport so these are the points let us see what this point is uh, about let us open the attribute table you can see this uh, F class here you can find the what the point indicates so some of this point indicates airport bus stops railway stations taxi stand likewise and the polygons are also available now let us focus on the uh, JS OSM roads you can see the roads it has, it has also been given the road data sets has been given
then you can see you can see and find the railway lines which are available in this region followed by you can see the land use of this region natural places points and you can see a lot of so in this data set you can find the towns which are available with names you can find it in the attribute table town or village or city likewise data sets are available and its names are also being given so the next data is this is about the location of towns uh, with population you can see city or town how much population is there its name likewise you can explore a lot of our data sets are available you can also clip this data with your study area as you can see here this is my study area, study area. go to vector and here select geoprocessing tool select clip so here i am going to input the building data sets and the overlay feature will be aoi so i am going to save it to a temporary layer if you want you can save it to a particular location or you can create a temporary layer let us run so the process has been completed and let me remove the aoi and now you can see here how the data sets is i have clipped this successfully so like this you can clip your data sets or if you want to save this data sets it will be already saved in a particular location while choosing while downloading the data we have choose on particular location it will be saved there if you want to manually save this file to a particular location from this you can choose any of the interested file and right click and you can find export now hit save as and use this to browse to any particular location so here i am going to input it as buildings so here it is saved as shape file so click ok the file is being successfully exported as you can see here the process began so i hope you have learned how to download gis data from this uh, video and you can explore this data sets and you can see lot lot more classes are available for example if you click on roads and uh, you just uh, in road itself many classes are there as you can see a tertiary a residential motorway like this you can explore the data sets there are a lot of data available thanks for watching if you find the video helpful please do give us a like and subscribe the channel thank you everyone